Welcome, I've uh, had some uh, good feedback on the screen, the recent screencast that I uploaded onto Twitter and so I thought I'd put, put another one up um, with this player who had a decent weekend this weekend at the Stephen Gallagher uh, Championship which is a Scottish Regional Order Merit event for in boys golf. Um, this gentleman today, Jamie Stewart, is 16 now. I've been coaching Jamie for about 18 months. He started off three handicap. He is now close to plus three. Possibly went there the other yesterday when he shot 69 final round to uh, finish third. So J Jamie and I over the last 18 months have developed a pattern where Jamie's got a relatively predictable ball flight. Um, most of the time pretty straight if anything he likes to see it starting left and just dropping onto target to the right when he's challenged with his ball flight um, the ball curves the other way um, where it curves left and he can he can miss the target quite a bit to the left so we've uh, we've developed a pattern um, for Jamie and uh, when he tends to get close to that he can play some great golf which is reflected in the scoring obviously he's off to plus three now um, just came out under 16's golf so he can obviously play pretty well so so Jamie um, before last weekend last week had been toiling with his ball striking a little bit and how the ball was flying uh, so I'll just describe to you, you know, what we did and how he managed to play better over the weekend. I wouldn't quite say peak perform. Um, Jamie has the ability to score pretty low when he gets it going. He shot 15 under, I think, last year when the Scottish Under 16s Championship. So he can really play. And so looking at looking at Jamie, you see you get some lines there mapping out his uh, posture, these four points. So to see if he remains relatively stable, we've got a line here on the elbow and a line on the shoulder. Um, Jamie, when he's not playing so well, will get under this bottom line with the club. So we're looking at how the club's tracking around his body, looking at his hand path um, a little as well. So observation straight away is open stance uh, to start off with as the club orientates around his body. It looks like it's tracking up not too bad here, but as he gets to the top, certainly a little shallow with the hands. Usually when he's playing pretty well, he's got the butt of the club close to there. Um, I'll change the colour and put that up again. He's got the butt of the club close to this on this line here. So a little bit under um, at that point. And you'll notice his left arm tracking a little bit under his shoulders as well. So these are characteristics we'd see of Jamie when he's when he's turning the ball right to left too much in the air. As the club starts to track down. You know, like I mentioned, the club shaft, or the club head, and the club shaft for that matter, a little bit under the elbow, what would be termed as the elbow plane. Um, things I'm looking at there, if we just get rid of the line fest here, I'm looking at his upper arm, and certainly the shaft is at the bottom of that, under the elbow almost. So these are characteristics Jamie sometimes um, comes up with um, when he comes up and he's struggling with the game. He can muscle it round the corner and get the club going left certainly, but his uh, face to path relationship is challenged a little bit. So I'm going to put this gentleman up here. Again, Henrik Stenson. You can see similar in terms of how I've got things mapped out and as he gets the club orientating to the top voila you can see where the handle is pretty close to uh, what I was discussing with Jamie 
And like I say, it's not so much about a method. This is a solution Jamie and I have come to in terms of getting how he feels he can play best. You'll see Henrik if I get rid right again, get the line fest off the screen. Much more mid upper arm, mid humerus, and the club tends to track down a little steeper onto the ball. So not going right field in that sense. So Jamie and I had a discussion. We implemented a little intervention, a couple of ideas. Slightly bloody for some reason this uh, this video frame, but you see much more up with the arms and uh, as he changes direction. More importantly. On the way down, if I make the help the lines disappear again, you'll know where the club's tracking from now. I mentioned upper arm, so it's pretty mid now. Obviously, all about uh, performance. Jamie's went after last week and uh, performed pretty well, where he's controlled his ball very well at Cadrona. So, um, little insight there again into what we do. Combine that with uh, utilising Trackman for some feedback on impact. Um, certainly helps for an effective coaching session. Okay, keep your high balls low guys. I'll no doubt be back on soon.